When you start thinking about programming with Python, you probably thought about these two questions. The first one is, should I use Windows or should I use Linux? Both have advantages and disadvantages, which make the decision difficult. The second question is, which IDE should I use to write my Python code? In this video I will show you a solution which combines the best of two worlds, Windows and Linux, and which is even easy to set up. In this setup I will use Windows 10 as my operating system, together with the integrated Ubuntu subsystem. The Ubuntu subsystem is basically a virtual machine which runs Ubuntu. And as my IDE I will use Visual Studio Code from Microsoft, which is free. I've already downloaded an example project. This is a Python project with the Kiwi framework, which means it has a graphical user interface. And if I run the main Python file, it will even show me the graphical user interface. Now this doesn't work per default with the Ubuntu subsystem. It requires an additional tool, which you can download from the Microsoft Store. But let's first talk about the setup of the Ubuntu subsystem. We hit the Windows key and search for features, turn features on or off. There we scroll down to the bottom and there we have an entry which is called Windows Subsystem for Linux. We need to activate it and this will require a restart. After the restart, you need to go to the Microsoft Store and search for Ubuntu. And we simply download it. And after the download is complete, you just search for it and run it once and it will automatically install everything. Now to be able to run graphical applications from the Ubuntu subsystem, we need an additional tool. We can get this tool also from the Microsoft Store. And this tool is called GWSL, which is also free. And you simply need to download it. And after the download is finished, you run it. Let me deactivate my cam for a second. And it will appear in the taskbar. And then you need to click on it. And we have here a few options. You simply need to click on GWSL Distro Tools and click on Display Audio Auto Exporting. This will ask you for a restart of the Ubuntu subsystem and you simply hit Yes and this will restart the Ubuntu subsystem. And if you want to run graphical applications, you always need to make sure that this tool is running in the background. To test this tool, you don't need a Python project. You simply can install the X11 apps, which are graphical applications. And then you can enter XIs, and there you can check if it's working or not. There are also some other applications, I think also a calculator. Yeah. Let's quickly do the setup for Python development. You first will enter sudo apt get update. Then we install Python 3, the package manager for Python, Git, and for development with a Kiwi framework, you need to install the Kiwi framework, NumPy, and the library to visualize graphs. And if you have installed everything correctly, you can clone the example project I already have it and you simply can run it. Now the next question would be, how can I edit the code which I have on my Ubuntu subsystem on Windows? Because I have my IDE on Windows and not on the Ubuntu subsystem. This is why we use Visual Studio Code because this IDE has an awesome feature which allows you to open and even edit files on your Ubuntu subsystem. But first, let's do the setup for Visual Studio Code. You need to go to Extensions and search for Remote WSL. This is a plugin 
for Visual Studio Code and you simply need to install it. We also need to add Python support and we simply search for Python and this is the plugin which we need to install as well. And that's about it. Sometimes it requires a restart to activate those plugins. And if you have done it, you simply hit Control Shift P and I have here already those two options, open folder and new window. But if you can't see them, then you simply enter WSL and there you get your options. And I will now create a new WSL window. And then I click on open folder. And now I'm opening a folder on my Ubuntu subsystem and I select the Kiwi examples project folder, graphs, and I hit on OK. And that's it. If I click now on my main Python file, I can run it simply by clicking here on run. On the top right corner, And this will also run my Python application from my Ubuntu subsystem. Now here on the bottom, we can also access the Ubuntu subsystem and we can also install our libraries from here. For example, if I now want to install NumPy. So we don't need this window from Ubuntu subsystem. We can close it. Another awesome feature is also that Visual Studio Code has support for versioning. This is obviously a Git repository and Visual Studio Code automatically recognizes the repository on Ubuntu. Here on the bottom left, we can see that we are in the main branch. And if we click on it, we can also create new branches and also switch to a different branch. This combination is really powerful and very easy to set up. And that's about it. Now always make sure that GWSL is running in the background because if it's disabled, this won't work at all. You will get an error message, couldn't connect to X server. This was a quick demonstration of the setup, which I personally will also use from now on. And if you're now interested in Python programming with the Kiwi framework, then you should check out this playlist here. That's it for this video and I will see you in the next one.